Be first, be smarter, or cheat. No, I don't cheat. All right, guys, welcome back to another X Defiant build video. What I have for you today is my MP7 speed build. I think people underestimate the importance of running speed in this game. Yes, recoil is important, straight speed is important, but running speed in general makes one hell of a difference, especially if you're able to use the movement mechanics. Now, they say bunny hopping has been nerfed. It's perfectly fine. You never bunny up more than two or three times anyway, so, or I did. So that's not a non-issue for me personally. And also when you do jump shotting, you know, I jumped three or four times there before the, so when you, when you actually aim in and you jump around a lot, so when it gets nerfed, there goes the sway, you can't aim anymore. That's like after five or six jumps and then it resets. But if you come around here and you jump like this, you know, it doesn't make massive difference at all. Um, you can easily win one or two fights, get this, get the first kill with the jump, get another one, same story, before the actual, the debuff kicks in. So, um, I guess the point I'm trying to make is running around the map, knowing where spawns are, and being able to jump around quicker because you've got more momentum because of the more running speed, that's why you can run around and do really cool things in this game, and that's what I enjoy doing, and that's why I'm running this build. So, for you guys that don't really care, this is the build. We're running um, a lightweight grip for the ADS speed and the movement speed. We're running super light for ADS and movement speed. We're running a quick mag because just the way I play, it's essential. I reload way too many times. Until I can learn not to do that, um, I will do that. Uh, I, will, I will keep running this. The rear grip is the quick draw because of the sprint to shoot time, which we'll get into, and the ADS speed. And then you've got the stock remove, which is movement speed and sprint to shoot time. Now, on an SMG, or just the way it feels at the moment, for me, is strafing speed is not bad already. You know, so you don't really have to spec massively into strafing speed as much, especially if you're running around and you're jump shotting and things like that. However, if you do have a lot of strafing speed or ADS speed, movement speed this 
these kind of shots that you do here, you do jump a bit further. You tend to jump a bit further left to right when you do that. But for this build, it's really not necessary. So that's kind of the build for you guys that don't really care. That's that's just what I run. The reason I run this stock, the even with the horizontal and vertical recoil, is I'm not looking for range kills. I'm zipping around the map, trying to get to the spawns as quickly as possible. And you can run collapsed because it gives you the 5% movement speed, but you don't get the 20% speed sprint to shoot time and one little trick that i like to do is that as soon as i see an enemy i shoot first i shoot i shoot i pretty much pull the trigger before i pull pull um the ads button and it works a lot now if you jump you kind of mitigate that so that's perfectly fine but if you're running up to someone i've already had a shot down let's do that again You can see that it just makes that split second difference and um, combined with the faction ability, I like running Phantom, to be honest. Um, I never did really, but I really liked running Phantom for this purpose. You got the extra 20 um, health, so when you, it's easier to get multiple engagements on this. If this character, for some reason, moved slower than other characters, then there would have been a different story. But the fact that you can have an additional 20 health and a shield to kind of block off... Um, for defensive purposes, it just helps you win more gunfights having that extra bit of health. Now, you can run Echelon. I've done that multiple times. It's good. Intel suit, I prefer the, the ghillie suit, especially if you have one or two kills and uh, you know there's someone around and you can just quickly cloak, get your health back and get into the engagement. Again, it works like a charm. And you can run fire, of course, because with that speed... Um, it's amazing to be able to go around bunny hopping and then all of a sudden you can just run around someone, um, especially if you know they're kind of around the corner, you can run and go around. It just works with that as well, but that is just my preference. So I would, I would recommend you guys run Phantom for this. You get more kills. And then a final thing, just on the Phantom class for this, when you're running around a corridor, let's say you know where the spawn is, because you've got so much speed, Nothing's stopping you from okay no wait. Let's say let's say you let's say the spawn is over here and you kind of know it and you're coming from this way around at the back. If you're over here, nothing's stopping you from from using the barrier as a offensive measure. So many times you've got these long corridors that you need to cross and you've got the movement speed. Um, but before you can really use it to your advantage, just, there isn't much you can do. I like doing this. And you can play around with that as well. I use it as an offensive measure in that respect. I hope this made a lot of sense for you guys. I mean, I'm having a really good time with this weapon. It's uh, very strong. It's easy to to control. And I've got extra recoil on this. Um, it's just a beast. And it's, it's pretty much the meta, meta gun that people are running. Probably the best. I'm kind of like still between that and the vector. But we'll do a separate vector maxed out video to follow up on the previous one that I've posted. But I hope you guys find it useful. Here's the loadout one last time. Um, have a go at it. Tell me what you guys think about it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.